Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we'll talk about the Battle of Camp Wildcat, located in Laurel County, Kentucky, on October 21st, 1861. After the attack by Confederate General Zollicoffer in the Barberville action, Union Brigadier General Thomas sent troops under Colonel Thephelius T. Garrard, and that is an awesome name that I probably butchered, in order to set up camp at Rock Castle. Seated against the Wildcat Mountain, its purpose was to obstruct the major road that ran there known as the Wilderness Road. They named this camp Camp Wildcat. Garrard reported back to Thomas he was outnumbered 7 to 1 by Confederates, and if reinforcements did not arrive, they would need to withdraw. Thomas sent Brigadier General Alpin F. Schaff with what amounted to be a brigade of men to Colonel Garrard, bringing the Union forces to about 7,000 men. Confederate General Zollicoffer planned to occupy the region and cut off Union supplies that traveled the Wilderness Road. This required him to move against the Union troops at Camp Wildcat. In response to Zollicoffer's movement on October 21, 1861, General Schaff was dispatched by Garrard with four companies from the 33rd Indiana Regiment. The soldiers took up position at a point called Round Hill. Shortly after arriving, the Union troops were met by Confederate scouts on a steep high point along the road. After a short standoff, the Confederate forces withdrew back and reported the situation to General Zollicoffer. In turn, Zollicoffer sent two regiments, comprised most of the 11th Tennessee Infantry Regiment and multiple companies from the 17th Tennessee Infantry Regiment. Just as the Confederate troops arrived to attack, Schaff's Union forces received reinforcements from the 1st Regiment of the Kentucky Volunteer Cavalry with a small number of Home Guard. The Confederate regiments attacked the steep hill, but found fighting difficult as the Union troops held the high ground. After an hour of combat, the 11th Tennessee Infantry, which comprised a lion's share of the Confederate forces, retreated. The 17th Tennessee Infantry Regiment was forced to retreat shortly thereafter. After both of the Tennessee regiments returned to Zollicoffer, he sent back the 29th Tennessee Infantry Regiment along with what remained of the 17th Infantry Regiment to attack the location known as South Rim. South Rim was an area located across from Round Hill. Unfortunately for Zollicoffer, the Confederate troops never detected a gap in the Union lines and retreated after what appeared to be casualties taken with no effect on the Union position. The Confederates used nightfall to withdraw and they continued their retreat back to the Cumberland Ford. This was the first battle in a while that the Union troops had won and they welcomed it. The resulting casualties were 25 Union deaths and 53 Confederate losses. Join us next time for the battle at Balls Bluff, located in London County, Virginia, on October 21st, 1861.